Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And the first question today is, consider the following sequence. And here is the sequence. If the sequence represents template DNA, what sequence would be transcribed from it? And here is the five answers to choose from. So imagine that this is transcription bubble. So this is one strand of the DNA. And here is uh, another strand of the DNA. Let's say that... Uh, lower strand would be template strand of the DNA and the sequence would be C T T and T A G G A so uh, if we would uh, transcribe the sequence so that means we would make messenger RNA, so what the sequence would be of the messenger RNA. It is very easy to uh, predict because uh, we just have to follow the rule that in, say, double strand the DNA adenine would always base pair with thymine and uh, guanine would base pair with cytosine. But because here we have uh, messenger RNA in messenger RNA, Zymine substitute with uracil. So let's uh, write the sequence of the messenger RNA. Cytosine would be spur uh, with guanine, zymine with adenine, adenine, and adenine here, and adenine would be spur with uracil on the messenger RNA. Cytosine, cytosine, and Uracil. And uh, here we have 5 prime end and 3 prime end here. So our sequence is GAAA and we can cross out the first variant because here uh, is a sequence of the coding strand of the DNA. The coding strand of the DNA uh, should have the same sequence as messenger RNA with only exception that uh, on this coding strand, instead of uracil, we would have zymine. So the first sequence we can cross out. This is sequence of the coding strand of the DNA. And uh, we can cross out the second sequence. And our choice would be sequence C. And the next question, EFTU is involved in the process of and this abbreviation stands for the elongation factor thermo unstable and where we can find this uh, protein uh, this protein takes a part in the uh, process of um, translation so imagine that this is uh, messenger RNA and here we have ribosome large subunit and this is small subunit and here we have uh, three sites uh, site A, site P and site E and uh, ribosome would move in this direction so first um, tRNA would go in the site A then P and would exit through the site E and uh, here is tRNA. Uh, there are many different forms that you can find in the textbooks. This is so-called uh, clava form of the tRNA. And here we have, um, this is going to be charged tRNA. And here we have amino acid. And three-dimensional form, of course, I wouldn't be able to uh, write down but it looks something like this. It's also called uh, L form. And uh, our amino acid is going to be somewhere here. And uh, this tRNA would go in this A side, but in order for this tRNA, charged tRNA, to take a position in this side, uh, there are a number of different uh, proteins that we call elongation factors are needed uh, for 
uh, affinity with uh, uh, large ribosomal unit A site. And one of such uh, proteins is elongation factor thermo unstable. And uh, this elongation factor can be found on top of the tRNA. And as I said, uh, as soon as tRNA would take place in the A site of the large ribosomal unit, this pro protein would dissociate from tRNA. So uh, let's now um, analyze what answers we have here. Transcription uh, is basically what we see here. This messenger RNA transcribed and tRNAs doesn't uh, take any part in this process of transcription. The process of transcription initiation also needs a number of different proteins that would uh, attach to the to the five prime and um, upstream region, upstream uh, from the region where uh, transcription begins. So uh, those proteins do not uh, include uh, this EFTU uh, protein or factor. So um, answer C, elongation and elongation process, meaning when uh, translation begins, ribosome would move one codon a time forward and uh, protein chain would be built. So uh, as you see, uh, the correct answer is answer C, elongation, and of course uh, this a protein doesn't take a part in termination of the translation and uh, does not participate in replication uh, of the double-stranded DNA. So uh, this uh, protein also has other uh, functions in the organism of the bacteria. Uh, for example, it also can shape other proteins, how other proteins would be folded and uh, also I can tell you that this is the most abundant protein in many prokaryotes and can make up to 10% of the whole uh, dry um, protein mass of bacteria. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.